What's going on, family? It's your boy Joe, and again, welcome to the mailroom. All right, family. So uh, I've been thinking again, um, and I know that that used to be a very scary thing, but it's, it's getting better. Um, <laughs> but uh, in all seriousness, um, I'm very, very grateful. I've been uh, lately. I've had a, just an overwhelming sense of gratitude um, for a lot of the things that God is doing and what He continues to do and what He has done. Uh, in my life. Um, There's been a lot of emotional healing, a lot of spiritual healing, even physical healing. Um, And so there's a lot that I I just have been really overwhelmed with in terms of gratitude. The weird thing is, is that at the same time, I've been very grateful for those things. It's almost like, like even now, it's feel uncomfortable and a little bit nervous about even saying that out loud. Um, It's almost like I'm, I live in this fear of, you know, something bad will happen if I, if I express my gratitude. So it's almost like at the same time I'm living in gratitude, I'm, I'm walking in fear, like fear of, you know, if I say that God is doing things in my life, then all of a sudden I'm going to be unleashing the hounds of hell against me, you know, or that God might be saying, well, I'm doing too much. And then he's going to, you know, somehow or another, like withhold blessings for me just because of me, you know, not being grateful enough. And, and, and it's weird to even think that way, but I find myself doing that. Um, for those of you who may not uh, be football fans or people that know me very well, I am a diehard Washington football team, I have to say football team fan. Um, and uh, this morning when I was in the gym, they were doing a story on Alex Smith, who is our quarterback. Now, uh, a lot of you who are not familiar with football might not know this, but a couple years ago, he suffered a devastating career in you know jeopardizing his career and almost his life injury on the field um he had had uh he 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 dislocated his knee broke his knee in several places and then even through the surgery and the healing he had infections that came into play that almost threatened his leg and his life well last week he actually made his comeback and he was on the field for the first time since then and he was talking about on the on the program about how grateful he was and having his family there and I was just like, wow, that's amazing. But then I found myself almost like in fear for him, like almost like, wow, man, that must be crazy to be out there. What if something happens and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what am I talking about? And, and I started thinking about the fact that, you know, here I am in the gym and, and there's sometimes where, you know, I will, you know, I, I had a couple surgeries on my triceps a couple years back and they're totally healed. But there's times where I will not push what I know I can push out of fear for something that God has healed me from you know, fear of breaking something or hurting something that I know is healed. Um, and, and, and that is a fear to expose something that I'm grateful for God blessing me with. It's, it's, it's weird that, he can, that we can actually think that way, or I'm, I'm just gonna talk about me, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna put that on y'all, maybe y'all don't think this way. But a lot of times I will be fearful of, of exposing or even using the things that I am grateful to God for. I, I even think about like in terms of with ministry and, and, and some of the things that have been going on in terms of like the, the pandemic. It, and it's wild because, you know, where this has been a very difficult time for some of the healing that I needed to go through in my life, the, the pandemic and quarantine has been a, a, a blessing in some ways because, you know, I've actually had a, I've had to stay home. You know, I had to, to basically be by myself, but at the same time, I wasn't exposing myself to anything that could hurt me even though I was being healed. I, I'm not sure if that makes any sense, but it's, it's almost like I had an opportunity to be grateful and to walk in some of the healing and some of the deliverance that God had given me, but I almost was blessed by not having to share it with others, you know, because my fear would have been that somehow or another now I'm going to expose myself or now I can be, you know, hurt again. Um, and so there's a lot of things that I could use in terms of ministry or minister to other people that I'd never really do. I mean, it's one thing, it's, and even like this right here, you know, I'm able to be transparent from behind a camera, but I don't have to really, you know, be there. Um, and even prior to the pandemic for me, you know, I've always been a musician, so I've always ministered from over there or behind the piano or behind the organ or behind the scenes, you know, not where... I can actually use the gift, the very gift that I'm grateful for, you know, for something that's beyond more than just an arm's length transaction. Um, 
And one of the things I have to just challenge myself to do, and maybe you all can walk with me on this, and if you understand where I'm coming from, is that sometimes we can't walk in fear of losing the things that we're grateful for. We have to go ahead and use them and, and allow ourselves to be somewhat exposed so they can see and we can minister to others. Um, last week, I just did a, a thing on the, in the mailroom about, you know, uh, the, the 23rd Psalm, and it's, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And I almost, you know, we sometimes, you know, we got we to call ourselves out and be like, you just said that, man. You just quoted the scripture about fearing no evil. And here you are walking and living in fear, you know, and I'm OK with that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you, I need to call myself out or I even need to have others call me out on that. And I need to be have, I need to have that exposed so I can see it for what it is. And then I can move forward in a way that God can properly use me. Um, Again, you know, that may not be all of everything that's in the book. There wasn't a whole lot of scripture in there, you know, but it's still a word if you will receive it. Um, again, I always just appreciate the fact that y'all sit down and hang out with me for a couple minutes and listen to me and, and talk about the things that God has laid on my heart. Um, if this in any way has blessed you, always, as I say, you can like this, share it, you know, tag somebody in it so they can, you know, kind of participate in it um, and provide your comments and your feedback, you know. Again, I am Joe. This is The Mailroom. I will see you soon. Be a blessing to someone today.